Confessions on a dance floor really is is, a, is the theme of having a good time. It's the soundtrack to a party, or it's the soundtrack to driving around in your car, or it's the soundtrack to not overthinking things and living in the moment. That's kind of what it is. And it came about out of necessity for her wanting to do that in her life at that point, and that was the music that I'd, I'd been doing for, as a result of DJing around the world for the, the sort of three years before. You no, know, I, I never set out to make a dance record. In the beginning, I was just writing music with Stuart for a musical, and then the, that musical, the script, came and I, I didn't like it, and hung up, and I Love New York were the songs we'd written for that script, and I, I you know, I said, okay, um, Stuart had been taking the uh, dub mixes of Hung Up around to clubs everywhere because, as you know, he's a DJ as well. And um, he was getting such an overwhelming response to, to that song that I decided, you know what, let's make all the songs dance music. And kind of that's how it unfurled. You know, for me, this album is extra special because it's, you know, it's Madonna kind of returning to her roots. I mean, it's a dance album, you know, she's like the queen of, she's like the dancing queen, if you will. So for me, this is like, you know, an alt it's like a dream because. All the music works really well with choreography and movement and dance and staging, uh, which is what I'm about, and, and realizing that kind of uh, those kind of things for her and making sure that her stage looks right and it moves correctly with her and her music. Uh, hi, yeah, hi, I'm Steve Stanley. I've been playing drums uh, oh, a long time, and my age is 42 years and one day, and I'm now going to interview the band. Without Steve Stanley. There's, there is no life. Steve and Marcus are from the north, which gives them a cheeky kind of unintelligible charm, a bit chauvinistic. There was a young man called Dave who went, who kept a dead <laughs> cave. It was not for this leisure. He took to the pleasure, but think of the money he'd save. Monty's from Texas, so he's like a southern boy, and he likes to draw when he talks. Monty Pittman is a simple man. Yeah. He's from Texas. He's from Texas. I don't, I, I don't sound like I'm from Texas. No, you don't. Uh, not in any way, but um, come from Texas. Live in Los Angeles. Proud parent. Proud husband. Proud endorser of orange <laughs> amplification. Go <laughs> orange. Orange. The voice of the world. Um, Stuart's from Reading. What can I say? Have you ever met anyone from Reading? Stuart and Ricky Gervais. That's it. Did they get Jesus' name wrong is the question. Oh, they, they most likely did. Because I Jesus was that. not Latin. You might, I think he was British. From Reading? Possibly. The whole ABBA sample hung up thing was a, kind of, was a, bit, of a, a, was a bit of a sort of happy accident. I mean... The, the, like I said, she was working on the soundtrack for this for this musical that it was going to be at first. And when we were talking about doing the dance, the disco section, she said, "You know, I kind of want it to be like you know, Abba for the future." And at the same time, I made this instrumental track up that used that loop from Abba, just because I was DJing every weekend and I wanted something new to kind of take away and and, and play. So I, it just happened to be around at the same time. And when she said, "I want something." like ABBA but set in the future, well, here was this track that I'd already been using in clubs and I'd seen the kind of response. So it was just, I don't know, sometimes, you know, like I say, happy accidents and coincidence and things fall into place at the right time and that track was around at the right time and I think that's why that became the, the starting point for the record. That was Stuart's idea. I don't, my, I never get ideas about samples because samples cost money but that said, if you're going to sample something, sample something from ABBA because their music is killer. It's the one problem about everyone in Madonna's band. They're always doing crack. Um, should I tell you the songs? I am doing um, Hung Up, of course. Uh, Get Together. I Love New York. Let it will be, and and I'm doing everybody an old. Uh, the first song I ever released a, um, as a single in my entire career. So um, combining the old with the new.